got some highly talented, skilled level players here today. And my whole goal is to get a bunch of good kids in the gym and help them get better and, and compete. Push, 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 push. Turn, good. Good, 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 good. good. Come on. Good, good. Next person up. Good, good. Next. Go. What's what we got? Good, 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 good. good. There you go. Where to get up? Where to get up? Good job. One, two, show. Sit down low. Keep them on your hip. Nice. So me and Johnny decided to throw this kind of last minute, and the turnout is amazing. We brought in 10 to 12 Division One kids out of LA. They're gonna come in here and develop and get better and receive some of this teaching and then compete at the end. To the rim. Good job. Make sure you sit down low. It was Friday night at Santa Monica High School and we call it a special ops training. We brought some of the best high school kids in LA out here and we made it kind of a dingy kind of operation because we wanted to feel like, hey, you coming in here putting in work. Same move, but when I go right here to cross, I'm going between the legs. I'll be right here. You got to do a move downhill. No dancing. But I want you to go full speed downhill, do a move, use the screen, and then do a move against me. All right, let's see it. Go, let's go, let's go, good. Good, good, nice, good. Great job, great job, let's go. We just decided to do a special operations camp. We brought in Julius V Elite. Julius has a, a lot of relationships in the community and I just wanted to come back and give back to the kids and teach them the stuff that I teach the pros and have them working on their game and working on their handle. The NBA, that's, it's ball screen, ball screen. That's all I, I've been teaching because I've been working with these guys from Chris Paul, DeMar DeRozan, Seth Curry, Anthony Davis, even him, I make him work on this handle and do this drill. So this time we're gonna snake it. The correct way to, so you snake this. You get here, I want a hard step. Boom, when you get here, I'm gonna say a move. If I say one, that's a between the legs cross. It really was just to get guys in the gym on a late night make them have to make a decision. Come in the gym and get better or go to their high school's football game or get dressed for a party or whatever these kids do. And these were the 10 elite kids that decided to come to the gym tonight on a Friday night and get better. Yeah, I'm a different kind of beast when it comes time to compete. This that 2K when you don't got on fatigue. You a highlight if you not on my team. They say I'm not human, I move like a machine. Yeah, this different. It's cash with my wrist flicking. First in the 2022 class, we had Richard Isaacs Jr. They call him Pop Pop. He's from Las Vegas. We also have Ramel Lloyd, 6'6 guard. The guy in that 2020 class, Quincy McGriff who's a 6'6 point guard, like legitimate point guard. Feel, wiggle, pace. Another guy in that 2020 class, Ian Martinez, who's probably one of the most recruited players in the country. Freak athletic guard. In the 2019 class, we were pretty loaded tonight, man. We had a ton of tough, gritty guards in here. First was Ethan Anderson. He's actually committed to UNLV. He's one of the best point guards in California. Robert McCray, he's actually on the same team as Ethan Anderson, straight A student, very coachable. He's gonna be a kid that'll go somewhere and play right away just because he does all the right things. Jordan Brinson, he's one of the best guards in California as well. Coming off an amazing July, uh, he won MVP and won the championship in the Bigfoot tournament. Jeremiah Turley. He's teammates with Jordan Brinson. In the backcourt, that's gonna be tough to handle. Jordan Williams is coming off a really good summer. He's like a 6-3 combo, can shoot it, finish at the rim. He goes to Long Beach Poly. Amani Mook Harris is another 2019 guard. I think he's the most underrated point guard in the country, man. Good, get up. Nice. Friday night, I'm trying to get some work in. I'm trying to get better, so I can. Working hard. I could be at a football game, but now I'm in a gym getting better. 
try and get ahead of those guys in front of me. Hard turn, you want to spin. Spin move here, then you're going up here, get up off two feet. Working on your weak hand, guys. Pound that weak hand. There you go, go. Good. Johnny, this is my first time working with him. He's a great guy. Nice move, nice move. I learned pace. Not everything is fast. You gotta add some pace, you gotta add some stopping goals. Yeah, I learned a lot of <laughs> pace stuff. Oh, it was a great night. We out here working, boy. We out here getting better, learning how to be consistent and work hard, stay focused. Just like walk. Wider, go wider. Now try that, go. Yes. Learn a lot of stuff, like, you don't have to go like fast all the time. You gotta like have a good like footwork. Always look to the basket. You can't be looking at the floor, you know, you gotta see what's around you. I'm originally from Costa Rica. I come from a really small country. Came here two years ago. Not a lot of people can make it, so I'm trying to work hard. Just follow my dreams. The difference between the NBA guys and the youth, I would say, is just less experience, less reps of the different moves in football. Good. Pound it. Pound it. Pound it. Good. Right hand pass. Right hand pass only. Right hand. Good. Get lighter on your feet. Lighter. Lighter on your feet. On your toes. On your toes. Good. On your toes. Hold it. You got to move your feet, right? So you got to get light on your feet. You're dragging your feet. Get light on your toes. Light. Light, all right? Let's go. Keep going, keep going. Pound it, pound it. Good. Keep going. Pound it. Good. That's way better, man. That's way better. Good. You know, I wanted to challenge their skill level because they're highly recruited kids and they have high level IQ and skills. So it was a very good turnout. And some of these kids were ranked kids or highly recruited kids by high division one schools and they gave me 110% effort. And that's all it's about. It's all, it's, it's all about giving that effort, working hard, not caring about who's in the gym, and just going hard on whatever the coaches and trainers are teaching you. Just got some elite work in, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I hope Fresh Focus can make it real.